Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be discussing a watch nerd that I watch on YouTube and probably a lot of you do as well. We're going to be talking about the Pontiff. So let us begin. That's right, tonight we're going to be talking about Archie Luxury, which originally was a character that a guy named Paul Pluta came up with. Now, he has many, many YouTube channels, but we'll talk about the Archie Luxury channel. So if you go to this channel and you sort his videos, you'll realize that the earliest video available here is from 13 years ago. And it's interesting to see him way back then if you're familiar with him now because his channel started out completely tame. He rarely showed his face, except for a couple videos where he was driving, but that was pretty much it. All of his other videos were still shots of luxury goods or videos where he's not showing his face at all. And he's extremely calm and one might almost say professional in these very early videos. However, if we fast forward a few years to about 10 years ago, we start to see a little bit of the craziness that we've come to know and love. And he showed his face a few times as well. In celebration of, what was it, a million views? Uh, he, at that point in time, he was day drinking, which was a thing for a while on his channel as well. And also around that time, we see the crazy foul language that we're also used to. One of the earliest videos where I saw full-on pontiff-style craziness was where he did an Ask Archie Luxury video. That was pretty wild. Although he didn't really show his face in that one either. But that was pure Archie right there, for sure. It was about nine years ago that he really started to show his face, and he was in front of the camera for most of his videos. And then he started getting into other characters. There was Satan Deville. That was fun. And... The drinking and swearing and craziness. Yeah. He's also fun for some of the drama that happens around him, usually of his own doing. But I have to say that with his most recent videos, it, they're kind of tame. You'll have to go back a few years, then they're really entertaining. He started calming down on the swearing and stuff. I believe it was because of monetization. He wanted to optimize... YouTube monetization, and by cleaning up his videos, he could do that. One thing that I really admire about the Pontiff, and why I still watch him, is his crazy ability to just pick a topic and talk about it in front of the camera. That's something that I am not good at at all. This video is sort of like that, but I still have notes. I've still had to kind of ponder what I'm going to say. I'm not as good as he is at just talking, at just rambling on about a topic. Now granted, there's a lot of repetition in there and a lot of craziness in between the discussion, but he's good at padding and just talking off the cuff. That's pretty cool. All the drama between him and Urban Gentry, that was kind of fun. And he's constantly having falling outs with people that he collaborates with on YouTube. But I feel like as time has gone on, his character of Archie Luxury kind of seems to actually be him. I'm not sure how different Archie is from Paul Pluta because he's pretty much always like he is when he's in front of the camera. Regarding his watch collection, even from the start, he's had some really amazing watches that show up on his channel. As far back as at least 10 years ago, I think it was, we see a Reverso on there, we see a Paddock on there, and it's always fun to watch him go through different phases. When he was in his nothing but Rolex phase, and then the next thing you know, he's selling off all of his Rolexes for Paddocks, and then a year or two later, he's selling off the Paddocks and trying to get back his Rolexes. It's all good times. The creepiness is also fun to watch on his channel. We'll have a guest, 
And if that guest happens to be female, he is a completely different person. He goes from loud and obnoxious to all of a sudden, he's so quiet, so delicate. It's absolutely hilarious to watch and painful to watch at the same time. And it's always fun watching him smell watch rolls and other creepiness. And of course, there's the tidy whities If he has to get up and get something from the other side of the room, yep, a blue button up with tidy whities That happens there. Uh, and then there's the carpet beetles. I mean, the comment section on his channel is almost like a subreddit. And the skills of the people commenting are pretty much on par with Reddit as well. It's pretty entertaining. If you read the comments and had no context, you might assume that you accidentally stumbled upon the Roast Me subreddit. But he kind of brings it on himself with all the craziness that he does in front of the camera. The videos I try to avoid watching are any of the videos he does where he's laying in bed without a shirt on. Those are just kind of creepy. Creepier than normal. But it's fun to go back and watch some of the old videos when he was really wild and crazy, swearing, drinking, and had some other characters show up. I love me some Satan Deville. But yeah, if you're not familiar with the Pontiff, just be warned, it is a wild, wild ride. But if you're entertained by drama and craziness and a person who's just kind of on the edge of insanity most of the time, you will definitely be entertained. But that is one of the many, many watch nerd YouTubers that I watch. In the future, I may discuss others as well. And if you hadn't encountered them, well, don't blame me for this one. If you go over there and start watching Archie Luxury, that's it's not my fault you did that. I'm sorry. I didn't do nothing. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.